plus 6 Cr2 plus giving us 14 uh, no, sorry we forgot to add the 14 H plus sorry we forgot to add the 14 H plus so plus 14 H plus all the left hand sides add up together and all the right hand sides add up together uh, gives the uh, plus 14 H plus gives us 2 CR3 plus plus 6 CR3 plus because both the CR3 pluses are on the right so we will add them together so this becomes 8 CR3 plus uh, sorry it's not in the subscript it's in the superscript so 8 CR3 plus plus 7 H2O now if you see the charges are balanced so minus 2 plus 8 is plus 6 plus 14 is plus 20 and uh, okay wait I have I made oh sorry so I may have made a pro pro problem so minus 2 plus 12 is plus 10 plus 10 plus 14 is 24 plus 24 so the total charge on the left hand side is plus 24 and then in this case uh, it's plus 24 again because 8 into plus 3 so everything is balanced now if you see the reaction was supposed to happen between Cr2 plus and Cr2 O72 negative and that's what happened the reaction is happening between Cr2 O72 negative and Cr2 plus so uh, in acid solution so we have the H plus ions also over here so uh, just one mistake uh, this will not be a reversible reaction it will be a complete reaction and the other thing so now so now you know that you will use an equation a half equation from the data booklet such that upon inverting after testing the values and upon inverting the reaction that has been given in the question is taking place upon inverting so that that's how you will be using your E0 values and the data booklet for these type of questions now let's move forward the diagram shows a laboratory illustration of a simple hydrogen oxygen fuel cell so we'll talk specifically about hydrogen oxygen fuel cells later but uh, right now you need to know this uh, uh, like right now you need to know this diagram and what's important for you is this like don't learn the right diagram but you should be familiar with it uh, with the diagram you don't have to learn the diagram for a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell so the, what is important right now is this the H3O plus because the H3O plus means that this reaction is taking place in the in the um, in the acidic solution so an acidic solution is being used for this reaction to take place because if you look at the data booklet there are two different uh, two different half half equations given one is for acidic reactions and one is for alkaline reactions so based on the electrolyte you will choose your equation so now that it's happening in acidic conditions uh, for the hydrogen it will simply be 2H plus uh, so oh so we have to uh, write it for the left hand electrode sorry only for the left hand electrode so for the oxygen it will be when I look at the data booklet I get O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons gives 4 OH negative oh, not 4 OH negative sorry that's the other one gives 2 H2O so this is the half equation now remember it's in acidic conditions because if you look at the data booklet just below this equation there is another equation very similar another equation So now in this case instead of H plus ions you have OH negative ions which means alkali. So if it's acidic solution you will use this one. If it's alkaline solution you will use this one. So right now we will use the one on the top because it's acidic solution. Now we have, uh, we have written the half equation for this. State the polarity plus or minus of the left hand oxygen electrode. So if you look at the E0 for this half equation, it is 0 0.40 plus 0 0.40 volts. The E0 for 
because this half equation is uh, not sorry I, I again I looked at the other one it's